Hello folks, welcome to Solution Unlock channel. Want to break into data analytics without any experience? What if I told you there's a way to simulate real world projects using generative AI, just like working in a real job? In this video, we are diving into a gen AI powered job simulation that puts you in the shoes of a data analyst. Stick around because I will show you how to integrate business KPIs using AI how Gen AI assists in cleaning, visualizing, and storytelling with data. And the third, how you can assist these simulation for your own career growth. So let's get started. For that, open the Forest website, sign in as student, and go to the Explore tab to find out this opportunity in the data tab. Here you will find this Gen AI powered data analytics job simulation by data. Simply hit enter and it will open on the right. You will have start pre-program option selected directly. After that, let's check what it's about. In this program, you will step into the role of an AI transformation consultant and complete tasks that replicate the work this role does every day. Key skills we will learn in this are predictive modeling using Gen AI tools, data exploration and quality assistance, uh, quality assessment, business storytelling, recommendation design, and designing AI driven systems for fair and responsible automation. Now hit next and move towards the task we have to perform first is intro and scenarios. Here they have mentioned what will be our role that we have already discussed. Next is our goals that will be to analyze customer data and predict delinquency risk using ai driven techniques develop a recommendation work frame to help the head of collections at Geldium determine the best intervention strategy uh, strategies for uh, at risk customers throughout the project you will ensure that ai driven solutions are ethical explainable and effective in supporting responsible financial uh, decision making then hit next and review the team details at data. Who are you, your responsibilities, whom you will closely working with, and your team senior manager, his or her responsibilities and contribution in this project. After this, we will have the project briefing. Understand it. It is important thing because the course will be based on it. So let's check together. It's an email from the senior manager to you, which mentioned that you are assigned to a new project with Geldium, a uh, digital leading uh, and consumer credit, credit company. The client challenges are rising delinquency, that customers are increasingly missing credit cards payments past 30 days, and current collection process is manual and insufficient based on historical trend. The project goal is to develop an AI-powered predictive solutions to identify customers likely to miss payments, enable targeted interventions for at-risk customers, ensure fairness and transparency in AI risk assessments. Let's start the quiz. There is two questions. First is, what is the primary objective of the AI-powered solution being developed for Gendum? That is to predict which customers are likely to miss payments and recommend intervention. And the next is, which team at Gendum will you be advising and working with primarily its answer is the collection team and it was mentioned on the project briefing page hit complete to check the next task that is task one explanatory data analysis and risk profiling this task is of 12 steps as shown on the top right corner so stick around do not to miss any important step here on page one, we have task overview, which will tell us about what we will learn and what we will do. These things we have already discussed previously, so hit next. Here, Charitra, the uh, senior manager, has assigned first task of the project, that's, that is to review the provided data set and uh, assess its structure, completeness, and key attributes, and then identify any missing or inconsistent data points that could affect predictions. Use Gen AI assisted, uh, assisted tools to generate insights while ensuring data confidentially 
and avoiding the exposure of sensitive financial information. Summarize the pattern, anomalies, and risk indicators that should be considered in later stages of the project in the report. Then on the next page, we have given the difference between AI, machine learning, and Gen AI, which is very important to understand before diving into EDA. Artificial intelligence AI refers to any system that can perform tasks requiring human intelligence, such as recognizing patterns, making decisions, or processing language. It is a broad category that includes both traditional rule-based systems and machine learning models that improves based on data. Machine learning is a subset of AI that learns from historical data to predict future outcomes. In financial services, ML models are used for credit scoring, fraud detection, and risk assessment. Example, a logistic regression model trained on customer repayments history to predict the likelihood of delinquency. Gen AI is a specialized form of AI that can create new content such as text, text images, or structured code based on training data. Unlike ML, which is designed for structured prediction, Gen AI assists with automation, summarization, and data exploring, making it a valuable tool in ETA. For example, using Gen AI to generate a summary of predict risk trend instead of manually coding and exploratory analysis. Now let's dive into exploratory data analysis that is the first step in understanding a data set before applying any predictive model or making business decisions. It helps analysts uncover pattern trends, inconsistencies and missing values to ensure data quality and reliability. In the context of financial services, EDA plays a crucial role in risk assessment, allowing teams to identify key factors contributing to credit cards, delinquencies and build stronger prediction models. EDA matters in predicting delinquencies to ensure data integrity which identifies missing values, duplicates before analysis highlight patterns and anomalies that helps detect trends in customer behavior such as spending patterns before delinquencies, prevent bias model to reduce the risk of unfair treatments by ensuring diverse data representation, support better decision making to provide Gallium's collection and risk team which, with clear insights for proactive customer engagement. Without a throwout EDA moving forward, we have four steps in conducting EDA, which can be enhanced with Gen AI tools. Number one is understanding the data set. Before jumping into analysis, take time to familiarize yourself with the data set. Ask yourself what are the key variables? Are there categorical or numerical data points? Are there missing or inconsistent values? Using Gen AI, you can use AI powered summarization tools to quickly scan a data set and generate an overview. For example, you need to ask, analyze this data set and provide a summary of key columns, including common patterns and missing values. The second is identifying missing values and outliers. Incomplete data can lead to poor predictions. Missing values in credit risk data sets may result from human error, system failures, or unreported financial activities. Here are some common techniques for handling missing data. Statical imputation, that is industrial, uh, industry standard, replacing missing values using well-established techniques such as mean, median, or re regression based imputations. Understanding missingness patterns that before filling in missing values determine whether the data is missing completely at random, missing at random, or missing, at, missing not at random to avoid introduction bias. The third is removing irrelevant data. Using Gen AI power tools can automate missing values detection and summarize data gaps, help analysts access, assess which variables require attention. Gen AI can suggest potential imputation strategies based on statistical best practices, but final decisions should be validated with domain expertise. Synthetic data generation may be an option when real data is unavailable, but it should be validated against real world distributions to prevent bias. For example, you need to ask the ChatGPT that identify missing values in this data set and recommend the best imputation strategy based on industry best practices. 
The third is understanding relationship between variables. EDA also involves ex uh, examining how different features interact. For example, do customers with high credit utilization rates have a high risk of delinquency? Is there a correlation between income level and late payments? Using Gen AI model can automate correlations analysis, helping identify key risk indicators. Instead of manually coding formulas, Gen AI can summarize variable relationships in natural language. For example, we need to give prompt, analyze the correlation between customer income and delinquency risk, summarizing key uh, findings in simple terms. Then the fourth is detecting patterns and risk factors. The final step in EDA is to identify a pattern that could impact delinquency predictions. This might include customer who missed one payment, often miss multiples. Younger customers or those with recently opened accounts may have different risk profiles. Using AI model can highlight trend in the, uh, in the data, making it easier to understand how the friendly features contribute to delinquency. AI-assisted insights can be defined by asking follow-up questions, ensuring that the analysis remains relevant to Delgame's objectives. For example, the prompt will be analyzed trend in the late payments and identify the top three risk factors associated with delinquency. Now in phase six, we have techniques to handle missing values and ensure data quality that occurs due to random errors, skewed data collection and customer behavior that we have already discussed. So moving forward on page seven, that is also about what we have already discussed previously. So just read once and move on to the next page. Here they have shared about synthetic data generation. That is artificially generated data that mimic real world data patterns. Instead of using actual customer records, synthetic data is created using statical model or AI driven techniques to supplement missing values and expand data sets for testing. This ensures that no real customer information is exposed while still preserving the integrity of the analysis. Here it's important to know when to use